talk about something that could maybe happen to your dog. Something else. Take a look at this. This dog right there. That's Peanut. Well, Peanut, well, officials think he was actually bitten by a cat and mouth snake. And the now's Nicole Grigg shows a key reason why it happened when it did. Peanut. A walk around this Wesley Chapel neighborhood today for Kim Hillary and her rescue dog, Peanut. He's doing much better, finally getting his strength back. You okay, Peanut? Just days ago, this was him, though, being pumped with anti-venom at an animal hospital. Lay down, baby. Peanut was bit early in the morning when he went out to the backyard. You can see the snake bite marks on his snout. I knew immediately it was a snake bite, thank God. I knew immediately it was poisonous because the way is... It looks like Chris Word with a all animal control specializes in snakes. I will not come to your house without these. He says peanut going outside in the morning hour when the temperature is cooler is dangerous for you and your pets because that's when snakes are looking for somewhere warm and a lot of times it's on your concrete porch. So if they ate a frog or if they ate some sort of lizard, then it's easier for them to start digesting if they're warmed up. Along with the time of day, Chris says you need to keep your yard trimmed, the grass, bushes, and it's best to avoid big bark for mulch because that's where bugs hide and can attract snakes, including the most dangerous ones. In the Bay Area, there's four common venomous snakes you need to know about. This one right here, the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. Then you have your eastern diamondback rattlesnake, a coral snake, and your last one, the cotton mouth, also known as a water moccasin. We found for a couple hundred dollars anti venom vaccines with a simple computer search for you. The cotton mouth is exactly what Kim thinks got a hold of her baby. She says he's one of four fur babies that she can't imagine losing. For the now, I'm Nicole Griggs.